another Friday night. Alright. And they start again with alright. Okay, so as it turns out, um, I can put all the music I want in here so far because none of it's copyright. Well, it's copyright, but it's, uh, it won't like pop up any copyright strikes. So, but, I think it's with like no monetization or whatever you want to call it. Cool. So we will continue. Okay, so I know I'm about to probably complain about the thing. <laughs> Complaining about another thing. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to wrap it up in five minutes and then go on to where we go here. So so the selection is over, you know, it's done and everything, and like, there's this whole, you know, thing going on about, oh no, look, the Democrats are blowing up, they're freaking out, it's like, yeah, you know what, yeah, you, you know, you're right, but at the same time, holy crap, look at the Republicans, they're freaking out, like, they're freaking out over the liberals freaking out, it makes no sense, like, I'm like, oh wow, the mask fell off of everybody, what kind of election was this? Get him, partner? I can't get my hands dirty. That's what happens when you play heroic. <laughs> But yeah, it's like a lot of people that I watch, maybe not a lot of people, but a good number of people that I watch on YouTube um, that generally don't do political content or bring social issues um, have been, not tag, have been uh, diving into that realm. Now as the election's over, it's like, hey, we left it behind. It's not popular anymore. Well, we're going to keep it popular because it made things feel normal. It's like, no, things are bad. Look, they took the ropes off and we're good. Did good. Let's leave it that way. You know? Survive. Let's, let's keep moving. You know, everything's back to normal and people are just like, dang, you know? I don't want it to go back to normal. We're kind of living in a chaotic fantasy world of like, how the hell are we going to survive tomorrow? And we're just like watching it get worse and worse. Like, how bad is it going to go? How low do you know? You know? And uh, it's just kind of trippy because you see some people like, oh crap, I'm not allowed to be homeless no more. It's like, yup, no more handouts. I got shit. Where are you going, Tom? Well, uh, <laughs> no offense to Tom, if anybody named Tom is checking this out. Uh, it's like, weren't you homeless? It's like, oh, I can't do that no more. They're not giving me free money. Okay, I need to find this switch. Hey, you. Ah. Run.
But yeah, that's one of those things that... Man, talk about getting ambushed. And yeah, you think you're funny, huh? Let's get going on, boy. Eat it. Guess I wasn't throwing enough cover. But yeah, it's like I tell people, you know, like everyone's like, oh, it's hard. We're poor. It's like, no, it's not hard. And we're not poor. You want to know why? I'm going to explain why. And everyone's going to hate me when I'm done because they're going to realize, holy shit, I'm not poor. But we're still going to, well, yeah, like, let's face the facts. We're all stuck in the delusional zone. We're all poor. Um, and uh, we're all hoping to escape poverty. It's like, yeah, for our, uh, you know, electricity and clean water. Well, maybe not to drink, you know, not safe to drink anymore. Everything's contaminated. Um, air, food, water, life. Well, hi. <laughs> you. But anyway. Um. Yeah, so just think about this. If, like, first world, if we live in the first world, and that makes up, like, 15% of the global population, you're either developing or, uh, your third world. You know, your third option. You're not the free world. You're not developing. You're the third world. What's that one? The third world. It's like, you know, what's that supposed to mean? It's like, they didn't try. It's like, okay, I guess that... That doesn't make sense. But, you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's, that's, I guess that's the label they gave it. They just don't want to give it a name. It's like, third world. If this name is supposed to be like a bad name, just first world, first world, from the top, first world, first, first place. And you got developing, second place, and third world, the third place. You know, so you could say second world is developing, but nobody ever does. But yeah, the thing you gotta look at is uh. everybody and you know like in all these other countries oh you know that grenade went off tonight yeah that's some bull you know third world countries they think of like think about when you were a kid and you're like oh, I want to be the monopoly man he's the richest man in the world but in reality, you didn't even know who the richest man in the world was. Some people would say like, oh, it's Bill Gates. Oh, it's Jeff Bezos. Oh, it's Elon Musk. Oh, it's, uh, you know, Tom from MySpace. Um, who always like a bird. Um, so, you know, you didn't really know. And some people were just like straight up uh, Walt Disney or the Monopoly man, you know? And now here we're sitting here like Donald Trump. Donald Trump's nowhere near the richest man in the world, you know? But we got all these people and it's like, no. Oh, that's the dream. It's like, that's the dream. No, that's fucking God mode. That is God mode right there. Like, think about that. This, people can go and, like, stare at a country and go, Hmm, Aruba. Yeah, I'll buy it. And what What are you talking about? You'll buy it. It's not for sale. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. What? It's like, you know what? You know what? Let me get a few of my friends. We're gonna go buy the United States. 
You're not gonna. Oh wait, they can do that. Holy, ooh, holy shit, they can do that. So, I mean, consider it. I think I was supposed to turn something on up here. But yeah, just consider that. It's like. They just look at those people, or the people in third world countries kind of just like look at people like us in the first world, like, oh, aren't they rich? We don't care, skip. You know, so it's just like you gotta really kind of just think about that. They think, oh, Elon Musk, oh, the Americans all probably met Elon Musk. It's like, no, no, we haven't. You know? And it just shows how far the gap is between us. Like we we're, we're like, oh, we're poor. Wish we were in the one percent. It's like you mean the uh, ultra point oh oh one percent? Like yo, we are the one percent. Like we control ninety nine percent of the world's wealth. Us in the first world, like yeah, but it shows richer. We are. Look, like, it's either you're the richest poor person or the poorest rich person. And right now, we're just the poorest rich people. You know, there's people that work for a dollar a day, and we're just like dollar an hour you know get the hell out of here you know people minimum want 15 dollars an hour like oh my god two hours you'll make you know my monthly wage holy crap you know they're freaking out like man what you making one month i make it two days it's like you mean two hours yeah what that guy said it's like it's even worse and i mean it's like think about it we are extremely wealthy we got so much at our fingertips and we complain like, oh, I can't afford nothing. It's like, because you were buying everything. I like, I really just sat down and thought about what does it take to survive? Like, what are the bare essentials? And I'm not talking about live like hobo life. I'm talking about, okay, we obviously need lights, water, um, internet, I guess, at this point. So at that point, you're going to have to be able to, you know, buy a laptop or a computer. And with that, you know, you can get internet for like 10 bucks. That's so cheap. So could you work a minimum wage job? Yeah, absolutely. What about rent? You get a couple roommates. You know, and it's like, yeah, but no, like, seriously, I think if your whole family lived in one nice big house, y'all could really keep cost savings down. That's how it was for the longest time. Because you gotta think, building a house, think of the impact you're putting out on the environment. You're like, having to clear a lot of land and say, hey, look, I own all this. You know, think about where we're at with our population. If we were to just bring everybody in, give them a giant chunk of land. It's like, well, could we manage it? It's like, maybe. You know, but not everybody can be a farmer. Not everybody can be, you know, um, a, uh, yeah, I should say an engineer. Not everybody can be a doctor. So everybody's gotta like pick a role and you know, everyone's relying on each other. So we live in this weird world where people are like, hey, I'm gonna push forever. And other people are just like, nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna keep living life. We just kind of left them behind, so they kind of laugh at us like, huh, technology. No, oh, you fight over such rubbish, garbage, trinkets of metal that sparkle and glitter with electricity. You pay thousands of dollars for a shiny rock that flashes in your face and tells you things you want to hear, grabbing your attention, tearing away your entire life, and all it is is just a somewhat semi-rare element. Why? Because it's hard for you to obtain, and it's put together, and such a weird configuration you just have to have it because your eyes become glued to it and you're stuck to it every day is that is that what it's about what i, mean, I, ha I don't have an iphone i don't have an iphone i'm poor you're poor the war one of the world's flagship devices you're gonna tell me you're poor now get out of here like, think about that. Go to Cuba and make $24 a month. You're never owning an iPhone. I mean, we live in America. Just just think about this. Sit down and think about this for a second. Do you watch anime? Maybe. Maybe not. Do you play video games? Maybe. Maybe not. Do you read books? Maybe. Maybe not. Like, okay, do you watch TV? Maybe. Maybe not. Do you watch YouTube and other things? Maybe. Maybe not. You kind of get where I'm getting at? This is all forms of entertainment. And all you're doing is just watching, viewing, or absorbing someone else's imagination or their own experience. You're living through somebody else's life. You're not even living yours. You're, you have your life on autopilot. 
You know, I mean, that's probably not good for me. You know, I mean, you know, I'm probably watching me play this. But. But, yeah, you're watching a world of fiction take place in front of you, in front of you. Yeah, but I watch, none of that's real. It doesn't exist in your reality. It's there, but that's somebody else's life you're watching. You're watching somebody else on another screen do something. You're just there in a chair or in a bed or I don't know, in a, in a tree somewhere in Amazon. I don't know. All right. It's hard. But yeah, when you think about that, just think about this. You know, and we get cars, fast automatic transportation, and we complain because it's come to a point to where not only are we in a free world, we're in such a world of such free abundance. We have too many cars. Like, we got multiple, one person has multiple cars. We all drive them on the road and we just jam it up because, you know, we're just so goddamn fucking wealthy people are like oh man dude we're so broke we can't even make the roads wider you know that's like saying oh god damn it man we're so poor you know our bank accounts are maxed out we gotta have five of them but think about how we sound to people who live in the third world it's you know i'm not like dogging on us but it's like just think about that we look at things in such a negative way when people are like you fucking retards <laughs> it's like no man my garage is too small. I can only fit 17 cars in it. <laughs> People are like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I got a family of 18 members and we just barely bought one car. And it was used and broken. It was really just a frame. But it was a start. You know, but it's like... I, let's just think of the reality of that. We are living someone else's fantasy. We are in the fantasy world. We are living in dream world. We made it. You know? And we're like, we complain about it. I mean, some people go so far to push the boundaries of this game we live in, whatever you want to call it. They're willing to, you know, have a, a, a full-on fight with somebody, you know, and just like, ah, 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 it's not real. You know, it's like, yeah, be frustrated at life, man. This is real. You just, usually, you're supposed to be used to just wake up, prepare for the day, find a way to survive, make it to the next day. Your job. Yeah, maybe there aren't jobs. Maybe they don't have a place with enough abundance of resources to actually have jobs. Maybe they're just trying to survive, man. And it's like every day is just survive, survive, survive. And we're here just like, hmm, uh, occupy, occupy, occupy. You know, you know what I mean? It's like shit. What are we doing? We argue about dumb stuff. Here we're like, yeah, it's dumb and ignorant, ignorant, but it's like really think about it. Just imagine. I said, hey, whatever you, your money you're making right now, times it by five, that's what you're really making the most of the rest of the world. You know, it's at least decently working. And, and more tyrannical uh, countries, multiply your wage by 200. That's, that's basically what you're making. You're like, well, man, I only make $15 an hour. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're already wealthy as it is. We just have such a leg up on the rest of the world, at least as first world countries. You know, I'm not just specifically talking about America. I mean, look, I'm playing a video game. This shit is like sorcery magic to other countries. And you're like, oh, they know what, you know, a PC is. And it's like, you know, you're right. And, but tell them, hey, make one from scratch. They're gonna be like, what? I don't, I don't understand. But at the same time, you can go to some random kid in America on the stream and be like, how do you build a PC from scratch? Uh, you mean like the components? No, I mean like scratch. Like, tell me what is a monitor composed of? Like, I don't know. How do you make an LED? You know, people are like, ah, uh, shit. You know, that shit's like sorcery at this point. You know, NVIDIA is like the grand wizard of this world at the moment. Aha, I produce <laughs> magical 3D graphics. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, man, open up. Think about it. Uh... In the reality of it all, 
we're just fucking nah nah we're just broke <laughs> and we play video games to say sidetrack and die <laughs> But here we are, right? Oh no, add ammo. Hey, you know what? I think I am gonna. Oh, my skip button was working. I think I am gonna just try to go ahead and stream this.
We had such a free world of imagination and living out whatever our imagination gave to us that we had to set a chair and pay people to not a chair to it and pay people to make up the stuff. And not only were we so lazy that we couldn't go and see them to do it, we had it broadcast to a screen made of not even space age but wizard like technology called a, a flash screen that we watch TV on. And it's like it's strange. And, like, maybe I'm just out of touch, but you go to places like the donut shop, and it's like, uh, yeah, they're like, what do you like? I'm like, uh, how does this work? Like, just imagine waking up one day and going out into the world, and it is so far gone and changed that you feel like you're in a whole other world. Like, think about that. I went to McDonald's, and they're like, <laughs> You know, this is, 
a while back. I didn't even get food there, you know. I was just like kind of disgusted by it. But I went to McDonald's and looking at it like, huh? And they're like, "What do you want?" I was like, "I don't understand this." And no, from what I've seen, no. I want it. You know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I had McDonald's a long, long time ago. A lot of orders, you know. But it's crazy. Like I, I went to go order tacos. Like you know, so I was shopping. Like I don't, I don't understand. What do you, do you want this, this, or this? I'm like, what is with what? And like, well, what is it? You want it? And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't understand. They're like, do you want this or this? And it's like, what are the price? Well. Two of these are two of these, but each one has two, and it's this much. For two of those? Yeah, for two of these. So, but one has two. They're like, no, two of them are in one. I'm like, okay, so it's the same. So, so two of them are in one, and I get two of those. They're like, no, you get one of these, which are two. I'm like, I'm confused. And I was just like, I don't know, here's money, give me whatever I'm supposed to get. And they're like, okay, here. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, this sucks. I feel like I got ripped off whatever it's food <laughs> you know so it's kind of confusing but like if I visited to Duck and Donuts the other day I'm like ooh and I'm like I don't understand the menu I'm like where do I pick stuff where are the donuts at I don't get it I'm used to shipping these you know and I haven't been there in a long time either but it's like how how does this work They're like what do you want I'm like donuts then, you know, uh, the lady's like, oh, you can pick these. I'm like, okay, how much is it? She's like, uh, I don't know, it's like $8 for a half dozen. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And I'm like, you can get these? She's like, yeah, those are donuts. I'm like, okay, I'm like, can I get one of these? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, do these count as donuts too? She's like, no. Oh, uh, I'll take two of these. Are these donuts? She's like, yes. I'm like, okay. He's looking at me kind of funny. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I feel like something's wrong here. You know, so it's kind of awkward. You know, it's like, are you that far out of touch? Or are you just not going out enough? <laughs> challenge going, you know? On health. This is insane.
working this job now. It's like freaking weird, dude. You know, it's like I didn't want it, but at this point, it's like, you know, you kind of feel like, hmm, is this not the job you wanted? It's like, well, I mean, it's a job where I feel like I'm not putting in the effort at this point, you know? It feels too easy. It's like, oh no, you're just good at your job. It's like, no, it feels too easy. It's like, what do you do? I sit down 95% of the day. Oh, how long? Half the day. Well, how long is that? 12 hours. You know, and it's like, what do you do? Well, I'm apparently an assistant. But I'm not an assistant, you know? Like, let me describe it and let me see if assistant matches. Oh man, it matches the description. Okay, sit down. They drive. They do everything. You just... Hmm. Do you see anyone on the right? No. Should I proceed? Yes. Okay. Hmm. You think we should go here first or there first? There first. Okay. Hmm. Can you reach that button? Yeah. Okay. Here's your 800 plus dollars at the end of the week. It's like, okay. Hmm. That was weird. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's like, I know it's not that much money, but it's just like, hmm, okay. You know, and I'm like trying to crunch down minimum hours. You know, it's not really 12, but, you know, uh, sometimes it's 9 hours a day, sometimes it's 10. But, you know, I get like my whole weekend. Can't have a Friday. And people were like, okay, so I guess you're kind of an assistant. Now it's like, okay, now I'm a navigator. You know, because they ask, where should we go? Here first. Now where is this? Over there. Okay, how do we get here? We can go this way, this way, or that way. Which way is shorter? This way? Oh, okay. But it's going to take longer. There's more traffic and stuff. But it is short. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Okay, well, let's go this way instead. Man, there's a gate. No, don't worry. I got it. Open the gate. Let's keep going. Oh. Help me, help me get through this corner. Okay, we'll go here, turn here, go there, pull back. Okay, let's go. It's like I'm basically a navigator, man. Kinda wild. But yeah, I'm essentially a navigator at that point. But you know, it makes me wonder like... What kind of job am I really working? People are like, oh, I just want to be able to sit at a desk. It's like, I can be comfortable. It's like, what can you wear? Whatever I want. Can you have tattoos? Yeah. Put your hair. Yeah, sure. Piercings? Yeah, who cares? Like, and what exactly are you doing? I'm still trying to figure that out. And they tell me it's kind of difficult, but... Like, I don't know, because they ask me, like, are you tech savvy? It's like, yeah. You find this place, do you know how to relocate? If there's traffic, can you reroute? Well, what about this? Can you take pictures? Can you offer... I'm like, oh my god, this is, um, okay. You know, most of the people that I'm working with are, oh, I don't learn age. I'm just like, this is... Hello? Uh, my computer's not working. Sir? Sir, have you tried plugging it in? Don't you think I would have? Well, oh yeah, you're right. I didn't plug it in. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll take my check. Thank you. It's like, that's kind of what's going on. You know, I mean, there's a little bit of work involved, you know, but it's it's not really that bad. It's like, I want to do the work because it kind of lets me actually do something. It's like, hey, I'm going to come over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me do this. I'm going to get out. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to run over there. I'm gonna do this. It's like, okay, sure. I guess I'll drive the truck. Great. 
you know, I'm not in a regular truck, so this thing's kind of high up and fitted. So it's kind of cool. Now, a lot of people are like, oh man, I'd be cramped in here, it's like a cockpit. And I'm like, oh, this thing is like a, <laughs> a gaming cockpit. It's like, oh, I got a shelf here, a shelf here, I'll put this here, put that down there, put this coaster here, charger here, keys here, wall up there. It's like, oh, this is cool. It's like, so I get to kind of just sit in like a cockpit and just. Do, 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 do. Yep, turn left here. Watch from your left. Watch from your left. Okay, go, 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 go. You're clear on the right. Yeah, all right, and we're good. You have about six inches of clearance to your right. So it's just like, yeah, I'm an assistant, but it's like, hi. <laughs> Thank you for using Mantopo navigation. <laughs> Please proceed. I'm over here just stalling in the game. It really does kind of suck how some of these grenades bounce off their shield. And my reloads take forever. Yeah, guys, playing this in heroic mode makes it way more difficult. But yeah, I mean, you think about it, like, I'm not trying to, like, dog on China or anything, but, like, you gotta think about it, like, how low their wages are, you know, they're not low. Dang. But, like, in some places, uh, like, they're world-like, not even, like, China. China's developing. But yeah, you think about places like that, you know, when we're buying sunglasses off of them to resell. And the reality of it is, is we're buying them for like $2 and they're making a massive profit, you know. You know, and they're happy. And it's like, okay, so we bought the sunglasses off you for $2. You made them for 10 so you're happy for making a profit. And then we're reselling them for 20 and we're happy to pay, to pay up 20 Like, oh, cheap sunglasses. And people are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What do you mean cheap? I would pay 20 Got like 10 pairs that are worth, you know, 50 to 200 It's like, right. 
Oh man. <laughs> that dresser ain't big enough to fit all my clothes. It's like no motherfucker, you got too many clothes. I call it bullshit. You know how nice it is to be able to just come home to a place where you can just play a video game? And to say you're not privileged, it's just like crap. I mean, I don't know, I get it. Some people in America don't even have that. The opportunity they have it in, even those who. It's just like, bro. I mean, if you have options to get out. Some people don't even have that. I'm not gonna say I've had it all good either, you know. I had to work to get the spot to where I'm at. That's after like falling and getting drugged down to the goddamn depths. Like if this doesn't get interesting. The most money I ever made in my life at a time, at a job, was between the age of, wow, I think, uh, was between the age of uh, 18 and 20. And, uh, I guess in comparison, you know, I was making, on average, you know, because it, it varied throughout the year, but on average, if you were to weekly it out, I was making around. Eight hundred to a thousand dollars, the low end, all the way up to about three thousand dollars a week. And we're like, oh, you know, that's pretty good right now. It's like, oh yeah, that's uh, that's what it would be in relation. But back then, it was like five hundred to two thousand. Even and like, but now it's still kind of good, you know. So now, you know, it's like I'm making less money, but. I blown it on every senseless thing, you know, you bought Halo because you're like, oh, it's an investment, I'm gonna play it for life. Well, no, are you really playing it for life or not? Yeah, it's like, you know, there's some people who still have never played a video game before. They're just... The world they live in just does not allow it to exist. Whether they call it, like, blasphemy or they just can't afford it.
Oh, come on, man. Take you guys down. It's so goddamn good. So close, so close. Was eating toast. Yeah, we can't believe it.
This is not easy. Yeah, I messed up. Better yet, I died. Oh man, I messed up. Here. I got grenades, and I'll get them right here. Why are they so hard to kill? This is terrifying. Man, it's like they gave me like god dang like water gun and they're giving him you know an actual firearm. Like, this isn't fair. I mean I guess it's not supposed to be fair.
Yeah, we can. All right, let's go again.
I don't know if I just go backwards or what. Yep. Yeah. Good man. What do we got? What do we got? Anything good inside? Yep. Kinda of reminds you of something like in VR, huh? Where the sky is not real.
Yeah, I had to uh, take my headphones off because uh, battery was dying. So now I guess I'll get to where I need to go here. Yeah, I don't like going these long distances because uh, like. I'm not shooting anything in between, it kind of sucks. I kind of wish I had a vehicle.
think I cleared them, guys. There's some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Stop. We need to stay here with the Marines until evac arrives. Finally. Yeah, I think to get this far, I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh well, I'm just glad to get a vehicle back. Oh yeah! Yeah, he knows what's up.
Okay, no. Never mind, I guess partner killed him. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. been abandoned man how is that we got an extra guy Thank you. 
And it's kind of crazy how old compared to new looks. Old version? New version. That's why. Look at the majestic planets out there, and then boom. Yeah, I still like the old version. Kind of like when you were playing like uh, South Park on an old Nintendo 64. Yeah.
And I've been running forever to die. See that for me. Had to get something to drink. Sight for sore eyes, Chief. We're in a bad way. We've got wounded here. I'll call in the dropship to pick them up. Oh, man, I'm in a bad spot. Yeah.
Good drop. Come on, we can get it this time. Come on. Nice to see you, sir. You are so rusty. We're in that place. I'll call in the dropship to pick them up. You know what? You want out? I found Captain. Mm. He's being held on a you want out? The truth and reconciliation. Come on, I'll let you out. I'll let my cat out. Head scratches. The truth and reconciliation touched down in the desert by Tarawa in 300 kilometers of Spanish. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Where am I going? Oh wow, they love changing locations, don't they? Oh no, we lost the guy. <laughs> I don't know, there's so much, man. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> and I was the only one left to tell the real story of how I stopped them all. Even the gun was glitching. Oh, platoon went down, man. Ely got promoted to Master Chief. It was crazy, man. It was wild. But unfortunately, the Federation couldn't afford to pay everybody. Ah. Uh. Oh.
I guess I'm gonna let my cat out real quick.
Okay, so yeah, yeah. When this stream gets posted, it's gonna be a uh, basically started running it uh, a good hour into some gameplay already. But you can watch the video to understand what I'm talking about after this. But yeah, we basically live in a society where the only thing that's gonna satisfy us is if we have god tier power, you know? Oh yeah, take him out covertly. Our one shot and it's dead, it's over. Yeah, again, like, realize we're already ultra wealthy. It's not fair, I hit him. Everybody out! Hit a Marine! Go, go, go! The toy ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground, Jay. It should be 
But yeah. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the game while I Yeah, but honestly, like, if you live in, like, America, even if we're, like, the brokest people, or in the lower class, it's like, we are still beyond the richest people in the world. You know, we are like, what about the ultra-wealthy? Those ultra-wealthy, you gotta remember, we, we are the 1%. 15% of the world make up the 1%. And the thing is, is we're like, we don't got enough. I wish we were rich. Those people that you think are rich aren't rich. They've just reached a, a level of, of God mode like power. You know, I mean, obviously due to the amount of wealth they have. But, I mean, hey, you know, those things are going to happen in a system. Like any system you create, you're going to have somebody who's really good at playing it. Suicide myself. I didn't know I think it was that close to that. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you are.
Oh, come on.
That sucks. It's like everything's toned down in a row, but it makes it really hard. Yeah, where am I going now?
Well, I guess that's it for me for now. Take a little bit of a break and try again tomorrow. So, hell then.